Hey guys, and welcome to the latest episode of the PlayStation 3 News. I hope you enjoyed the new intro there. And yes, I am back. I know I missed last week, but that's because I was out of town, had some stuff I was doing, you know, and some really great news for those of you who've been following me. Uh, you do know that I've been dealing with the end of college here, where I have to go into a whole bunch of stupid-ass bullshit with my school. They finally decided to let me graduate a semester early. So, you were looking at a 2010 graduate. Well, maybe not looking at him, <laughs> but you're listening to him. So I am officially done with school. I am graduating. So happy. Now, the hardest part begins. Trying to find a job. <laughs> you know, gotta get that money. Anyway, starting with this is uh, Ubisoft basically won't say one way or the other if Splinter Cell Conviction is coming to the PS3. They've basically stated that you're just going to have to sit down and wait and see. They've implemented the wait and see tactic on Splinter Cell and Conviction. Now, I highly doubt it's going to come to the PS3. Not that I don't want it to, but it's because Microsoft has really boosted, you know, boosted the the um, hype for it for you know and everything and all the advertisements, and they really want that to be exclusive. So I think they're just going to throw tons of money to keep it exclusive. And Sony has apparently stopped development on the PlayStation Room. Uh, if you remember this, they announced it at TGS last year. It's supposed to be PlayStation Home before the PSP, complete with 3D avatars and apartments and being able to chat with your buddies and everything. Now, th there was a closed beta they've been having since last year until I think it was this month or last month that they stopped the closed beta. And Sony Computer Entertainment of Japan has announced that they have halted development on it. Now, it doesn't mean it's canceled. It's just been halted right now they gave no reasons for it but that's what it's been staying and demon souls is finally getting a official european release for those of you who decide to wait it out not import it from america you are going to be treated with a official european release of it come june 25th bandai has gotten the release rights for europe so you know be happy there and uh hideo kojima has stated that he might have to leave the industry if he botches up his next game. Now this is according to his Twitter post that basically he said that his next game he'd be working on will challenge a certain taboo. And he says that if he fucks it up basically, he, he'll he force him to leave the industry. And this has got everyone in, in the gaming industry up in arms about what it is. What's the taboo? Because if it's going to be enough to make him leave the industry, everybody's trying to figure it out. So I want you guys, your opinions, to find out what do you think the game is and what is the taboo that will be challenging. All right. And uh, Forged by Chaos is, is a fantasy MMORPG for the PC. And apparently the website has announced that it will be coming to consoles and they are switching to the CryEngine 3. They will be using the brand new CryEngine, so it's going to be available on the consoles. That's pretty much all the information you got on it. And also, the PlayStation Move sub-controller, remember that little one that has the analog stick and everything? That has gotten an official name, and it is named the Navigation Controller. Wow. You know, pretty technical the new words there, right? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, Konami has revealed that they currently is on, in works with a new Silent Hill game. Okay, you know, enough with the moans, because we all know that the last one wasn't that great. It didn't live up to expectations. But this one could be better, but it also could be worse. You know, i got to wait and see, because they have stated that it's in development with a new unknown developer. So, you know, cross your fingers. And also, some huge news. Anyone who's played Fear 2 knew it was coming because of the sick ending and the cliffhanger it left you on. But uh, Monolith has revealed and released a teaser trailer on GameTrailers.com. You can check it out. Fear 3. Fear 3 has officially been revealed and is coming out this fall. I am so excited for that game. I love the Fear 2 and the cliffhanger. Just wanted me to want, you know, I want to know what happens. So I definitely got to get Fear 3 and it looks, you know, can't wait for that. And last bit of news here is that Crytek has basically said that Crisis 2 is performing slightly better on the PS3. Now, they assured that the PS3 and 360 version will be identical to the normal gamer, but they said for the tech freaks out there who want to nitpick every little detail about them, you will see differences. But they did say that it's going to be pretty much identical between the 360 and PS3, only some things are performing slightly better on the PS3. But they went ahead and just, you know, stomped on both the consoles, you know, fanboys' balls and said, well, the PC is going to be the best version. No. <laughs> you know, that's down right out what they stated. You know? And that's about it. That's the news for this week. I know it wasn't too much, but I am back, and I'm going to try and keep getting these uh, videos out as I can. 
uh, you know, even though I'm going to be busy trying to find an actual career now doing this stuff. But I want you to rate, comment, uh, subscribe, but check out my game music videos. Tune in every week for the latest episode of the gaming news. And I'll catch you guys next week. Alright, peace.